Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is another tech tip brought to you by Sock Academy. Sonic Academy, not Sock Academy, the Academy, the Academy for Socks, not to be confused. This is Sonic Academy, the Academy for Blue Hedgehogs. So this is um, all about Square FM, which is sort of a way of getting those sort of metallic robot-y uh, dubstep sounds that are pretty popular these days. Um, I'll kind of demonstrate how to do it, uh, and then I'll sort of explain what's up um, in post. So let's say I FM something as I burp. You know, like a triangle. With some harmonics. Just for fun, you know. Got some sounds neat. Notice that the harmonic profile is pretty similar to that of a saw wave. If that's something that you didn't know, rest assured that this is actually the case. That this is a harmonic profile. It's pretty similar to that of a saw wave. We'll explain later when we get to that. But we want to make it like a square wave. We want to have that hollow sort of metal sound. How do we do that? Turns out, whatever your modulation oscillator is, make it an octave higher than your fundamental, than your output oscillator. Output, carrier modulator, carrier modulator, carrier, two, modulator, octave higher, four. Suddenly, square wave. <laughs> A lot of other things change as well. The, the, the tone that we got is kind of gone because this is actually an oct this is this is octave higher now, so a lot, the, a lot of these harmonics don't really mean the same thing anymore. Also, a lot of these things just straight up sound better when they're distorted. <laughs> So now let's get to the part where I explain why this happens. So, like I said, let's look at what, let's look at what a saw wave looks like. With output, here we go. That's a harmonic profile of a saw wave, which is to say it has all the harmonics. And here's a square wave. It has every other harmonic. It, all the even harmonics are off. Harmonically, that is really the only difference between a square wave and a saw wave. There are some phase differences that mean different things, but for the most part, this is what's up. Now, if I look at a saw wave, and I play an octave higher of the, of the same saw wave, compared to the original lower octave of the saw wave, it would seem that the higher octave of the saw wave has half as many harmonics. As well it should, because the first harmonic in a saw wave is actually the octave higher. So if you play the octave higher, the series resets and plays again. And due to the nature of, you know, multiples and doubling, that kind of thing, and frequencies, which is what happens when you play octaves, we, um, the, there's, there's a, a higher spread between each individual harmonic. So what this translates to in FM is to saying that if we, if we play a, an octave higher of the modulator, that spread is applied to the fundamental. But because the fundamental... The carrier is still at the fundamental level. We still get that bass level. So that's how you make your FM sound like a square. Square wave harmonic content. You just make all the extra harmonics, extra uh, uh, additional FM octave higher than your carrier. Of course, the carrier still needs to be, you know, the bass level, because if it is if it is also an octave higher, then it's just the same sound, only an octave higher. That doesn't actually do anything. As well, if you do any kind of secondary FM, you want that to also be an octave higher, because, like, for example, right now, it has that saw wave uh, characteristic again, even though the, secondary, the, first, the first level of FM has the octave higher, but the secondary level does not. So we have to keep going. To keep it at that square level. Mess around with harmonics, mess around with different shapes, but as long as they are this next octave above the, the fundamental of the original output, you have that square wavy metallic sound. Distort it, have a good time, and make a whole bunch of really neat stuff. 
This has been Bro Step Square FM. If you have any questions about this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.